Despite objections from many dissenters, President Obama has declared climate change a fact. And he is pressuring his administration to fast track executive actions to radically change the energy situation in America before he leaves office. Correspondent Doug McElway takes a look tonight. Stymied by the GOP's long resistance to cap and trade legislation, the Obama administration's EPA this week began public hearings, the next step towards a final rule, to cut CO2 emissions from new coal plants. The rule would limit emissions to 1,100 pounds per megawatt hour, a level the coal industry says is technologically unattainable. Green energy proponents disagree. Opponents say this will prevent ever building another coal power plant in the United States today. They say that the technology is not commercially available. These claims are scare tactics. Some supporters of the proposed rule say fracking has unleashed a treasure trove of cleaner natural gas. Its new abundance and low price has put coal at a competitive disadvantage. A welcome development, they say, given the consequences of global warming. I think there have been a, there's been a fair amount of scaremongering that says that the only way we can address climate change is through drastic action that is going to increase everybody's electricity bills or ruin the kinds of vehicles they want to drive, and none of that is happening. But the coldest winter in recent memory is reminding Americans of the need for fossil fuels. A bitter cold January in the Midwest sent propane to a record high $4.24 a gallon. Heating oil also hit a record high of $4.18 a gallon. Amidst record cold in the South, where most homes use electricity for heat, the Texas power grid took emergency measures to avoid a blackout. In Europe, years ahead of the U.S. in green energy usage, many governments are reinvesting in fossil fuels as customers protest rising electricity rates. As we see record snow, we're now entering on the snowiest decade on the East Coast. I think it's, it serves skeptics very well to point out that the predictions that the global warming activists have made are going, have gone belly up. Whether the cold winter is evidence of global warming or evidence against it, the new EPA regulation should be finalized just months before the 2014 midterm elections and another approaching winter. Republicans may seize that opportunity to show that, li that limiting CO2 is not without costs. Chris? Doug, thank you.